Hi, this is Shobus from Codeboxer. I am showing the demo of CVX Tour, a WordPress plugin used to create user walkthroughs or guided tours. So before we uh, we see any anything further, uh, let's see uh, how it works and what is it in uh, reality. So uh, I have this plugin set up uh, in dashboard. And uh, in the front end, uh, I have used a shortcut to display the tool button. So if I click on that, it's taking me to this placeholder or heading. It's showing a pop-up with arrow. There is heading, there is content, and there is next previous. And I can also end the tour by clicking the end tool. So let's click on next. So it's taking me to another heading and another heading. So this is how I have set up this tool. Uh, it actually shows pop-up using pop-up and moves from uh, one heading to another or one uh, HTML element to another as setup. So I will end the tool and I will try to show how it works or how to create the tool in the dashboard. I have this plugin uh, installed at this moment. So CVX tool, user workflows and guided tools. I installed it from WordPress plugin directory. And uh, after this plugin is activated, there will be a menu called CVX tool in the left menu. And I already have some tools created to show this demo. There is a uh, global settings of this plugin, which has option uh, as tools tab and it has option to uh, if it should delete all the plugin data on uninstall and if if anyone want to reset the existing data they can do it clicking on the reset data so this is actually not much options but helpful option we'll check now all tools and we'll check the feature tool example this example tool i will go inside it so creating a tool is actually creating a, a post uh, you have to put a header, you have to uh, add a steps. You can sort a steps. You can edit any steps. And also there is an input field for, for reject URL. That means uh, on the end of any tool, user uh, can set up uh, so that after any tool is ended, it will reject to another place. Uh, it's configurable and there is two settings so let's see what's the two settings one is display the tool button and uh, there is short code to display any tool so if, uh, if if you enable this then it will show a tool button other it will not show but there is option to like auto start so in case if you uh, put a display none so you should use the auto start so that when any user will come to this place the tool will auto start and there is option for block button full width let's test so this is block or full width or not full width okay and uh, another option is align, another option is button text, another option is layout. We have ready made four layouts. One is default, red, green, blue. So let's set blue. Here we can see the demo in the right side and also we'll see it. So ev everything is bluish. Okay, now see how we can create the two rest steps. Two rest steps are like uh, dynamic you can click add new steps so what's inside any single step one is a html id using hashtag another is title and the content and also for each each uh, a step that shows as pop-up or popover on front end uh, we can set as uh, how this popover will be displayed using a top bottom left right uh, if you sh if you show backdrop or shadow yes no and uh, most uh, 
most time or uh, as we uh, getting feedback from uh, customers people actually get confused how to set this element id so actually uh, in in the page what do you want to set or uh, show the tour you have to actually prepare something for this tool uh, what's the preparation like uh, for uh, for this page i have created some headings headings and uh, i'll show you uh, i have used some id for the heading like my test head one another is this is heading two so my test head two so these are actually heading tag this is also an html element and i have used some id so what you need while you edit the page you have to put id if you are using elementor still you can add id using the elementors uh, any elements settings in front end or dashboard i mean i, I think in from the front, front end so uh, you have to copy those ID and uh, put an hash before that and that's the complex part and this is very simple like put a title for the pop-up title put some content uh, for the pop-up content and uh, you can sort them you can delete them you can add new you can remove all at once and there's some options for two settings these settings are also available uh, using a uh, short code we have a details uh, documentation uh, for the short code mm, here uh, uh, step by step or details guideline how to create uh, a tour and add steps everything so this is it and now I will check uh, about the pro add-on this plugin the code plugin is free and will always be free and it has almost all useful uh, features that uh, is free within the code plugin but we added some few extra features so that uh, this plugin can be uh, more extended and let's see how this works so I'll start I already have this pro add-on uh, installed but deactivated I activate it I have this activated successfully and I will check now I see two new option uh, one is uh, sorry one new option one is the two logs that means um, if anyone is uh, is clicking a tour then it will log information in the database if it's a uh, login user or guest user whatever so uh, this is the information and uh, in the global settings we'll see new option for users login enable disable so um, and uh, another is google analytics tracking for the tour click event uh, this is help this will be helpful to see uh, using the google analytics how the user is interacting or how they are using it and uh, everything is configurable we can enable disable this and another option is here track uh, to start okay uh, users uh, login uh, is actually disabled at this moment i will try to delete them so we don't have any i will try to refresh that page i'll click it so i have used it if i refresh this page nothing here so let's go to global settings enabled it once go to here we have nothing we'll go here we'll click click into now refresh we have it so where is the information uh, uh, about the two logs and uh, there are few other options like uh, in the log you can track IP address you can anonymize it uh, we didn't show this information is uh, here yet but in in the upcoming version those new information I mean, I mean the IP address will be also be shown here I think this is missing at this moment while we are creating this demo but we'll add so this uh, extra features can be um, can be viewed from these two logs and there is option here like uh, 
repeat log visit that means if any user uh, use the same tool again and again uh, we can track it or we can disable it one another uh, important feature like uh, most times sometimes we need we will show the tool to any user once whatever the logged in user or guest user so uh, th this was a really demanding feature from the my customer or users and we added this feature in the pro using the pro add one so in the tool settings we added a new option a display tool once if we enable this then w if any user is um, d uh, shown this tool once it will not display again but for this you have to enable the logging features enabled I mean this feature should be enabled to implement this feature I mean the display tool ones so this is the extra features also okay uh, there are few other layers that's added automatically with the pro add one I mean this four was within the core or free version and this one two three four five that's a lots of layout like let's try orange so this is orange let's try tl so this is tl and if we check in the front end this is the tl so and also there's another tab added to the um, tool settings using the pro add one this is the custom layout and from here you can also define the tool button to padding color that means uh, you can create your own color variation the default color uh, values for these uh, settings is coming from the default layout settings so you can set your own colors as you like to match with your branding so this is all about uh the cvx tool uh i think i explained it clearly and in our product description page all all this information that i showed as demo and or and explain is also in written format uh we have elementor add one we have wp bakery page builder add one we have gutenberg editor support this uh, plugin has wizard and short codes and uh, there is a localization or language file within the plugin google analytics tracking to uses that i all mentioned and there are screenshots and uh, uh, pro add one uh, i mean the free version is always free uh, the core version you can purchase the pro add one only for 29 dollar for one year one site support there are some lifetime deal that uh, you can also try and the support policy is very straightforward the one year purchase support is for one domain one year uh, after one year you can still use the plugin but you will not get the updated pro add one but still you can use it we release our plugin in gpl license so you can modify as you like so that's all uh, thank you for uh, uh, watching this demo or description that I uh, explained and thank you